So we have an interesting problem here. You don't even need your calculator for this one. We have a question that says, what is the moment of inertia of an object that rolls without slipping down a two meter high ramp, starts from rest, has a final velocity of six meters per second? And the question says to express the moment of inertia as a multiple of m and r, where m is the mass of the object and r is its radius. So. Remember that we're doing rotation. So when we're talking about mechanical energy, we might need to think about our rotational energy. So here is the unknown is I. We know that total mechanical energy initial equals total mechanical energy final. We know the formulas for gravitational potential energy. We know the formula for uh, kinetic energy and kinetic, the rotational kinetic energy. So let's get started. Um, we also know that gravity the acceleration due to gravity is 10. So we start off with only gravitational potential energy. And we finish with both rolling and kinetic. So then we get initially it's mgh. And at the end, it's 1 half mv squared plus one-half I omega squared. So let's solve some things here. MGH minus one-half MV squared equals one-half I V squared over R squared can plug some things in, cancel some things. We know g is 10, height is 2, 1. We know we're supposed to get our answer in multiples of m and r, so it's okay if we leave those. v is 6, so that is 36, 1 half i Thirty-six over R squared. So this is kind of messy. Let's go twenty M minus eighteen M is equal to I times eighteen over R squared. We're gonna solve for R two M. Oop, I forgot one, my one half there. It's four. That times two equals I times eighteen squared. Oh no. We don't need that one half because we already canceled it. Okay, so we get twenty M minus eighteen M is equal to i, which is what we're looking for right here, times 18 over r squared. Simplify this and you get, you divide both sides by 18, you get that this is 1 ninth times m, and then you multiply both sides by r squared. So you didn't even need a calculator, although maybe I needed one a little bit. You get that i is equal to 1 ninth m r squared, which kind of sounds like a moment of inertia to me. So I hope that that was fun for you, and I hope you enjoyed doing the rest of your problems.